My name is Catherine Bell. I'm 17 years old and I've been training in Taekwondo for 12 years. I began Taekwondo when the studio was really small and I just remember absolutely loving it when I joined. I was a part of the Learning Center and there I met my best friend Jamie, who's still my best friend to this day. And I just remember having a lot of fun at the different activities such as Halloween sleepovers and parties where the team got together. And I went to my first competition when I was yellow belt. I remember it was this huge competition at UCLA and I got into the ring and I just blanked on my form and Master Clock was just panicking off the sidelines telling me to do whatever I needed. Um, I began sparring when I was a purple belt and I absolutely hated it. Um, I almost cried during every match and I fought my heart out but I was not exactly a talented child. <laughs> Um, one of my favorite memories at Taekwondo was winning gold at Nationals in June of last year. It was just a dream of mine for my entire Taekwondo career and just winning gold was just absolutely amazing. Not only was the winning amazing, but it was just the feeling the whole team had the energy and just the craziness that everyone was feeling because I had won gold, DJ had won gold, Eric had won gold, and we were just all just on fire with energy and support and it was just one a kind of experience that I'll never forget. The studio feels like my second home because I'm here so much and the family and the friends that I have here. And I have some really great memories with my teammates and other people here at the Taekwondo, such as the Lake Tahoe trip that we did and Nationals in 2010 in Florida when we went to Disney World together. Um, I remember one of the greatest parts of that was after the competition we all went to Disney World Eric and Philip were in wheelchairs, so we could push them around the park and you got to skip all the lines and it was just a great time. I want to continue advancing in Taekwondo and since I reached my second degree two years ago, I had a goal of reaching my third degree. Becoming a third Dan means I have an even greater responsibility of becoming a more proactive leader at the studio. And I'm pursuing a third Dan because I want to continue advancing in Taekwondo and have the official qualifications to be an instructor. My family has been extremely supportive throughout my entire Taekwondo career. They have always encouraged me to do my best and give me advice and let really everything in Taekwondo basically be my choice. If I want to compete, I want to compete. If I don't, I don't have to. Um, they let me set my own goals and I'm really thankful for everything they have done. My parents have always been a great role model to me and that their philosophy has always been for me to just do my best. Hi, my name is Johnny Chen. I'm 31 years old and I've been training in Taekwondo for 15 years now. I started Taekwondo when I was 16 years old. Uh, I was always fascinated by it watching on television, but I've never had first-hand exposure to it. Um, it wasn't until high school when I had a friend who did have keto, uh, kind of started teaching me a little bit here and there, just uh, just as school friends, uh, playmates. Um, and then eventually in high school is I joined a martial arts club and uh, started a little bit more formal training in Kempo. And that's when I decided I wanted to really try and pursue it. That's not the point here, right? In my early training years, uh, I think I was, I was still very young and naive and I was still caught up into a lot of the uh, mysticism of martial arts. I also focused a lot on the technical side. You know, I wanted to be perfect. I wanted to focus on perfection. Um, a lot of my, my early instructors had always talked about um, not being perfect, but always trying to become perfect. So I, I constantly reinvented myself. You know? I'd always look at my technique, I look at the others around me, I look at my seniors, and I look at how they executed their techniques, and I always wanted to learn from them. So I always try to copy them. AMA life in the past 10 years, wow, uh, where to begin? Um, I was. Uh, I was training in Taekwondo when I was in high school, through college, and when I started my professional career. Um, you know, the aspect I've always enjoyed the most has been the community. You know, and through all these years, all the friends, uh, the bonds, and the camaraderie that you built. Um, if there's uh, if there's a martial arts gym rat, that was me in my in my early days, and uh, my my ex girlfriends can confess to that because they've all complained about it. <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of time here at the studio, but I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the training. I enjoyed, um, I enjoyed bonding with, with all the community members here. So it's been great. It's been a great experience. 
Uh, one of my fondest moments in my uh, Taekwondo career was uh, the trip we took to Nationals. And I think this must have been uh, maybe 10 years ago, but it was in Orlando, Florida. And uh, I remember going with the, you know, of course, Master Block is mine. And, um, and also, um, a lot of the old kids that used to be here but aren't here anymore, um, like Chris Kim and Romeo. And, um, you know, we were all very young, naive, young college guys, and just traveling around the country. And uh, everyone flew into Orlando except Romeo and I. We actually flew into uh, uh, a neighboring city to save on the flight costs. We ended up renting a car and having to make a two hour drive into Orlando to meet everyone else. <laughs> so that wasn't the smartest thing to do. Taekwondo has always been uh, my hobby, my personal pursuit, my passion. So uh, my family has always been very supportive of it, but it's always been something that I've kind of done for myself. At some point in my Taekwondo career, I realized that uh, the rank wasn't as important to me anymore. I think that naivety and mysticism of martial arts had already passed. Um, what I realized was the people around me that knew me, that respected me, um, the experience, knowledge, the effort, my dedication, that was more than, than enough. After my first degree black belt, I really got caught up on uh, Taekwondo sparring. And the reason I, I went for my second degree black belt was because of uh, Master Clock's encouragement. And of course now, um, being 31 years old, having friends, colleagues that are now fourth degree masters, some are fifth degree, uh, some are school owners, I feel that it's really time to really solidify that, that uh, credential on my resume. Hi, my name is Eric Mastelonardo. I'm 17 years old and I've been doing Taekwondo for about 11 years. I actually started Taekwondo because of my older brother Alex. Uh, me being the younger brother, I pretty much copied everything he wanted to do. And so he started for about two weeks and I said, oh, he's doing it, I want to do it as well. Uh, and ever since then, I just, I loved it ever since. Um, and back in the day, I honestly don't remember all of uh, the different things that happened. But one thing I do remember is always looking up to the older kids and saying, wow, look at their skill and look how good they are. Um, so I remember just looking up to a lot of the people. I'd say the best part about my life at AMA has truly been the family aspect of it. Where I'm pretty much always at the studio and you're always hanging out with your peers, meeting the parents. And they pretty much become your second family. On the flip side, uh, I had to spend a lot of time at Taekwondo, which made it hard to juggle between you know, piano teaching, practicing piano, and my homework. Uh, but this was actually a good thing at the same time because it forced me to learn how to manage my time. So whether, whether it means you know, hanging out with my friends a little bit less, uh, getting less sleep, but you know, in order to succeed, you have to make sacrifices. And I believe all those sacrifices, um, it became worth at the very end when uh, my favorite memory was actually last July when I went to nationals. Uh, my goal had always been to become national champion and you know through a lot of hard training, uh, lack of sleep, uh, eventually I actually achieved my goal. So, uh, I'm pursuing my third Dan. One, it's simply because it's an achievement of one of my goals. I've actually wanted to become a third Dan ever since I was in high school and I was hoping to finish it before I completed high school. Uh, but even more importantly, uh, the third degree uh, says that somebody is an instructor and is recognized globally as an instructor. And I believe that would be extremely important for me because I actually want to be a missionary in another country, you know, preaching the gospel of Christianity. And I believe that having uh, an instructorship would be perfect because it allows me to, you know, interact with the community and actually have that certification as well. And after I achieve my third Dan, uh, I actually hope to compete in the Taekwondo Kalita circuit and maybe even one day going to the World University Games. Well, there's a lot of things I could talk about with my family. Um, but I'll just quickly talk about my parents. Uh, my mom, as any of you who have met her before can attest to, she is probably the nicest person in the universe. Um, she's always smiling. She makes the best food, by the way, so if you want good food, go to her. And my dad is the perfect combination of strength and gentleness. I, I believe she sets a really good example for me and what it means to be a man, um, but at the same time, I'm like a bully or anything. Uh, and all my siblings are really awesome, but my family has really contributed to my Taekwondo uh, pursuits in every way possible. Uh, with my parents, obviously financially, you know, they've supported all these different things, uh, but they also supported me emotionally as well. Uh, what, whatever Taekwondo goal it may be, whether it's going to nationals, going to state, regionals, um, they were always there supporting me because they knew I loved it. And my brother Alex was actually probably one of the best sources of inspiration. Uh, he was better than me at everything. Growing up, piano, taekwondo, you mean tall. He was like, he was better at everything. My parents were like, oh, it's because you're younger, Eric. 
And my thought was, no, he's just better than me. So I was working really hard. I wanted to pass him. Um, I mean, when we went to nationals in Florida, uh, Orlando, Florida, he didn't even train, and he gets second at nationals. And I trained all year, and I didn't play. And my thought was, how is this happening? Um, but it was good, though, because it really forced me to push myself. Um, and not even just Alex, but it really um, pushed me to my limit to say, how far can I go? And um, how much will I sacrifice? But it's all good now, because I'm taller than he is.
please, on how you know. Come in. Come on, face your back. This is how you speak, role model. Say role model. Teach me English. <laughs> Teach me English. <laughs> no, we do any oh. Role model. Yeah, yeah, he's more L. Role model. Role model. <laughs> role model. Say role model. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay. 